Why did the referee do that? And then the referee kicks me again to get the ball back. Why is the, why is the referee doing this? Why is he doing this? Hello, welcome to my channel. Now today we're gonna be playing Blood Bowl 2. It's a player pass video, so... We're gonna play it and decide if it's worth playing more, or if we're just gonna pass on it. For disclaimer, I played this game for like... a day and a half or two days. Just to get more familiar with the mechanics of the game. Right away I can tell you, one of the, the, the pros of the game are the announcers. Uh, I was playing campaign as you can see here. I think I played like two games and that's it This game is basically a mixture of a tactical RPG with football and It's a interesting mixture. I would say uh, Like I said the announcers are one of the best things about the game But they're also a little bit cringy. It's hard to explain Like they're they could be more witty and they also uh, like uh, do a lot of exposition about the whole world of, of the Cabal Vision and all that. Which some people might be into, it's a little too much for me. It's like, they could have done it better, a little better. Let's let's see my team. I actually created, that's my team right there. Where the Rayclan Reavers. This is my team right here. I made all my friends from, from AU. I got me, Rock Naps, I'm the, basically the quarterback. Mike as a lineman, light. As a catcher, because he's a speedy boy right there. We got Ash as a blitzer, which means an attacker. Because Ash is kind of a psycho. He really is. Uh, Seri is a catcher, because he's another speedy boy. We got Roberto, my friend here, Seal of Death. He's an ogre. A bald ogre. I think he would love that. Chaos King is a lineman. His defense, Arbida, is another attacker. Army One is his friend. Uh, this is another friend of mine, Jesus. Jesus. As we say in Spanish, and my other friend Jonathan from real life. So, this is my roster because you need 11 players to play the game, like football. Let's play a game so you can see how it is. Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here with all the Blood Bowl news and events. Already, we've had a major development with Reichland Reavers captain Griff Oberwald. He's not played a game this season, as he's bravely in hiding from some ogre gangsters. We're still trying to track him down or talk to anyone in the Reavers' staff. At the moment, they seem to be as scarce as an honest referee. That's right, Shum. Even as we speak, Cabal Vision seers are scrying the old world. He could be anywhere. Please check under your sofas at home. It's amazing what gets lost between the cushions. See yes, what I mean there, well, little cringy? One thing that I really like about this game is the aesthetic it has. It reminds me of like Mutant League Football. It's an old, it's an old cartoon they used to show. It also was a Genesis game. It was like a fantasy uh, zombie football kind of thing. It's like very 90s. But this aesthetic is actually like, it looks cool. It looks like, uh, I don't know. Like World of Warcraft mixed with football. That's what it looks like. Like, look at it. Well, it's okay. Some say perfect for playing. That's my coach, Nap. That's my team right there. We got cheerleaders. And that's Roberto right there. Look at him. He's the only over that I have. And yes, I am playing dwarves. Oh, look at that dwarf right there with the mohawk. Looks awesome. A bunch of Grimleys, and you should have my axe. Kick the ball, receive the ball. I want to receive the ball. Yeah, I've got some respect for these guys. They share my love of violence over the ball. Agility. Although, don't I, I already know. I need a catcher to get this. Okay, so what it, basically what you want to do from a basic understanding of the game at each game is just I'm gonna hit them and everybody you got to everybody gets one turn to attack one turn to blitz the blitzers the lineman can attack more uh, in this case my catcher here Jesus it's gonna cap the ball, so I'm gonna. I want to try to clear this side of the, of the fence. 
So I'm gonna use Arbiter over here to to attack. Yeah, and then you have a dice. This is basically gonna decide your action. It's kind of like Mario Party. So you wanted to land on that yellow head sign right there. And here we go. Gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, see, that I did it. Good. And then you get, once you do that, if you get like a positive one, you either get one or two options. On, or some, in this case, I only get one option, which is Defender Down. You see the little bubble right there on the, on the right, which explains what the action is going to do. So Sarbite is going to knock this guy, and I want to knock him this way. Mm -hmm. No, no, actually, I want the full right side, to be clear. So I'm going to knock him this way. And and you follow, bro. Then you get that little cool animation right there. You catch the ball. And move over here. Stay behind him. And here we have Seri as a catcher. You're gonna move over here in case I lose the ball, the fumbles, or whatever. On the edge of the field, within grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. The, the commentator says that because if you get knocked out of the side fields, the, 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 <laughs> the fans, they start to kick your ass. Gonna use my lineman to attack a little bit. Chaos, can you attack? Okay, right. So here, the lineman get two dices. I can only push him back. What's the other option? Oh yeah, this one. He's stunned, so he won't be able to get up in the next turn. And there, here we have Ash. Ash, can you attack? No, Ash can attack. So Ash, just go here and be bait. I can't see a sign saying slip. <laughs> Ash fell. Literally nobody tripped him. He just fell on his own. Hold on, Ash. Very, very similar to how he would act in real life. Yeah, I think I moved everybody. Yeah, so I'm good. I'm going to have to switch side now. Why did the referee do that? Dude, can you bribe the refs? That's kind of like a cool mechanic. It's okay. You know, one of the things that I didn't know about this game when I first played it, I thought when they knock you down, you have to stay down, but that's not true at all. Even if they're down, they still have their action. I, my best bet would be to pass it to Surrey, who's clear for a touchdown. Ah, uh, hopefully that works. So now Jesus, this is, this is, if, sorry, you can catch this, it's literally next to you. This should work. Pass the ball to Sari. He's close. Yeah. Will it make a difference? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, oh, that's so dumb. Thankfully I got Light here as a catcher. But here's the thing, Light is gonna have to run, get the ball here and run through here. This guy has a chance of tackling me. Unless Seri can take him out. Let's see if Seri can do that. He's a catcher, not really an attacker. Oh, what? Seri's down? Dude, I didn't know you could get KO. You could get KO. Oh my god, Seri. I'm sorry, bro. You got knocked the fuck out. Just wake up and move and stay there. The fuck? How did he hit me from the, okay, he was knocked down and he still hit me. This is going so bad, okay, just scrap the ball then. How the fuck is it? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done for this round. That was a horrible round for me. Oh, he's going for the, please. I'm gonna lose the ball. They can 
This guy has the ball now. God damn! To get a pay rise. Take down the ball carrier before he can move it up. Oh, yes, yes. He dropped the ball. Get the ball, light. Uh, don't get the ball then. Uh, you get the ball then, Jesus. Okay, bro. You, ah, my thing sucks so much right now. Get the ball, Jonathan. Oh, why can nobody in my team get the fucking ball? You just wake up. Oh, they, they won't even let me wake up. Best thing I can do is move over here. Try to dodge them. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not. Oh, okay. My players can't even get up, and he's KO! Here's Mike. Mike, get up. He can't get up. These, these, these dwarves are ruthless, bro. Wow. That just got, that just got bitch slapped to oblivion. I love how all my players are just knocked down. I, like literally, literally, you're the only one that can catch this guy. And then the ref attack attacks me again for no freaking reason. Just try to get some people up. That's the best I can do for this. They're gonna score next. Oh, you know what? Nobody get up. Let just let them score. Pass the ball to Jesus. 50% to catch. Okay, we're gonna have to roll the dice on this one. Why? I'm sorry for this. <laughs> I'm sorry for the screaming. That was just my initial reaction. Jesus. I'm just getting my ass kicked. How did that little guy KO that big ass ogre? Yeah, so that's the first half. They completely... They completely obliterated me on that first half. Maybe on the second half. I'll have better luck. That was Ash, I think. To get the ball back. Why is, the, why is the referee doing this? Why is he doing this? This is what you call catastrophic. Most of my players are dead or knocked down. I, I really don't have, I really don't stand a chance. And then the referee kicks me again. Just to make my chances even worse. I can't, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to finish this game, but I can't. I'm gonna have to concede. Yes. Again. Dude, the, the dwarves are just too much for me. I mean, honestly, look at that. I'm out match. Look at the overall rating. The dwarves, 970. My humans, 850. Since I'm out match, I need to be lucky. Okay, so let's talk about the game if it's a player pass. The graphics, I like them. The aesthetics of it, like the whole World of Warcraft with the football thing, I dig it. It's pretty super cool. The announcers are a little bit cringy at times, but at other times, they're kind of funny. They do a lot of exposition. Overall, it's a part, they're, part, they're a positive bonus to the game. Uh, well, those are the pros. What are the cons of the game? The games are on pretty long. Uh, at the beginning, you're kind of outmatched because your team is shit. That's not much of a con that is a hard game. I like hard games. What other con can I see? 
I mean, so far, I don't know. One of the concepts, I think, maybe you don't level up your players. They don't level up. I thought they would level up like an RPG. Like the more actions that you did. Like if you tackled somebody or something like that, you would get experience. That doesn't seem to be the case for now. Maybe it's just the beginning games. Maybe there's a mechanic that opens up later. If it doesn't have that mechanic, that's a big con against the game. Uh, but so far... I still want to keep playing the game, so I'm just gonna give it a play. You know, it's not a bad game. It's an interesting concept. So yeah, I would say play.